There's two, it's actually two teams. Oh shit, what? Oh, okay, I've got done, yeah. This guy's dead, yeah. Just shoot it, got him. I'll try to kill them all, I'm doing my best. Yeah, nah, he's only one shot, he I've was. killed Santa! Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome to the first video in a new series, The Best Way to Play. This series will aim to show you, my viewers, which is the best way to play a game, whether that be on your Quest 2, maybe the Valve Index, or via the Oculus Link cable, or perhaps even by firing up Virtual Desktop and going completely wireless. First up, in my opinion, the best multiplayer game in VR, Population 1. Easy to pick up and play, fiendishly difficult to master and win. Excited? I know I am. So let's dive straight in, and remember, we're born to respawn. <laughs> Thank you for the bananas and the resurrection. <laughs> Population 1 is a battle royale game, similar in its core gameplay to Fortnite, but set entirely in virtual reality. The climb, fly and build dynamic of the game lends itself well to VR and can lead to some epic flanks, manic gunfights and clutch moments as you fly in, shotgun in hand to seal that final kill and nail the win. But what is the best way to play the game, especially for a sweaty tryhard like me? I'll be examining the four ways to play that are available to me. Number one, on my Valve Index. Number two, standalone on the Oculus Quest 2. Number three, on Quest 2 via the official Oculus Link cable. And finally, four, also on Quest 2 using Virtual Desktop. If you want to know how to run Virtual Desktop on your Quest or Quest 2, I've done a full tutorial here. The Quest 2 footage will be filmed using the new casting feature included in the version 23 software update. All other footage will be captured using OBS. Let's get into it then. First into the ring is the Valve Index. For reference, I had to purchase the Steam version of the game separately from the Oculus version. The Index is running at the full 144Hz refresh rate for ultra smoothness, with super sampling set to 1.2. For crispy visuals and that essential draw distance. Plus, I'm using my Kiwi Design version 2 pulley system for that wireless feeling, which I have reviewed here. Nice. We could have found the kills. <laughs> I was getting <laughs> shot at. <laughs> Reported. <laughs> Reported. <laughs> Second up is the Oculus Quest 2, playing the standalone version of Population 1, which I bought from the Quest Store. There is a way to increase the Quest 2's resolution, refresh rate, and performance using SideQuest, but as not everyone has a developer account or is comfortable fiddling with their Quest settings, I'm running the headset in its standard mode. Yes! yes well done! Well, that was well played, job, boys. Man. Well played. Yeah. Sweet, man. Good list game. <laughs> Third into this fight is Oculus Quest 2 using the official Oculus Link cable. I'm running the PC VR version from the Oculus Store as the game is cross-buy. So if you buy it on Quest, you also get a copy for Rift and Rift S on PC, which is always nice. On PC, you can change the render resolution, which I've set at 1.7, and also the refresh rate, which I will have at its maximum, 90 hertz. Down. Yes! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get Christ, I'm like, I think, I I think there gunning. was at one point then when I think oh, there was only one person up. Last, but by no means least, I'm running the Oculus PC VR version of Population 1 via virtual desktop on Oculus Quest 2. As this game is not too demanding graphically on the stream app, I'm using the more modern HEVC codec. In the streaming tab settings, I have the VR graphics quality at high, VR frame rate at 90 frames per second, and VR bit rate at 65 megabits per second. With these settings, my latency is hovering around 30 milliseconds, which is absolutely fine. These settings also make playing virtual desktop indistinguishable from playing with the official link cable, with sharp graphics, smooth frame rate, and a really good draw distance. Yeah, we win! Yes! Woo! Big dubs! Yeah! Next up, I have four short combat sequences which I'll play at normal speed, then at half speed, and finally a still image from each for comparison. Enjoy! And I'll see you back here in a minute. You can 
res on me. Bitch! Oh. To sum that all up then, the Index is the sharpest, smoothest experience running at the experimental 144Hz refresh rate. The Quest 2 standalone is the easiest to pick up and play. The official link cable is indistinguishable from virtual desktop when running the settings I mentioned. So what is the best way to play Population 1? Well, first to fall by the wayside, the official link cable. Unfortunately, there is no advantage over using virtual desktop graphically, plus you have to deal with a cable and in a dynamic game like Population 1, it soon gets all twisted up. This will eventually lead to failure, and I know this because it happened to my Oculus Rift and the replacement was expensive. Second to go, the Valve Index. Controversial? It is the clearest, smoothest way of playing the game, but again, you have to deal with that cable, and I dread to think how much that would cost to replace. So with both wired options defeated, let's move on to the top two. In second place is the Oculus Quest 2 standalone. Wireless pick up and play make this the most accessible version of the game, but it can't quite take top spot due to the reduction in resolution and frame rate. I'm pretty sure that Big Box are working on boosting the graphical fidelity and increasing that frame rate to 90 hertz, but until that patch drops, the winner is Oculus Quest 2 wireless using virtual desktop. That takes the top spot. With all the advantages of Quest 2 standalone, but with the boosted graphics comparable to using an official Oculus Link cable. I hope you enjoyed that first entry into the new Best Way to Play series. Are you shocked by the results? Do you disagree with my conclusion? Which game would you like to see me cover next? Get involved and comment down below. Well, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload any new content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side.